Today we are opening a first edition Strike of Neos Hobby Box. What's up guys, today we're opening a box that I have never opened on the channel, this first edition hobby box of Strike of Neos. It's going to be pretty awesome, but first we do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know what card you want to see from Strike of Neos. Before we actually get into opening this epic box, I have to shout out Ben from Wyoming on eBay for selling me this box. It's going to be a pretty fun opening, and I hope we can pull the Ultimate Rare Air Neos. Even the Ultra Rare would be awesome because it's only been printed in this set ever. It has not had a reprint since this set came out. It's one of the ones that people have been asking for a reprint for a long time. There's also Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. There's Dark World Dealings. There's some really cool stuff. Oh, DD Crow, but we can't get the ulti because that's a retail ulti, and this is a hobby box. This is a very expensive box opening, so I would appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel, liking the video. Here we go. We're going to break the seal. Here we go. Let's do this. We have officially opened it up. As you guys can see, there was some writing on it and stuff, so it wasn't in like the best condition ever. It's perfect for an opening. So let's see what we can get out of Strike of Neos. By the way, here is the... Yeah, I see it's a little crease and stuff, but here is the code if I can find it. There we go. There's the code right there. Let's get into this opening. 24 packs. Should get at least two ultis, I think. We will see. It should be pretty fun. We're going to shuffle up the packs just to make it a little bit more interesting. You never know where the, where the cards are going to come from, so we'll shuffle them up. All right, one of the only boxes I have never opened open it's a pretty tough one to find and very expensive for sure so let's see if we can pull something good this is a guaranteed loss i think the only way we would make our money back is getting the air neos ultimate rare and then actually grading it uh, because we've paid like $2,500 for this box, and there's no way we're getting that back. So we're just hoping for some epic cards. Grandmaster would be really cool as a secret rare. We got a lycanthrope, very cool. We got the advanced ritual art. That's a good card. Skyscraper Hero City. Right off the bat, we have a super rare. You can barely tell this is a super rare, but it is, I promise you. Skyscraper Hero City. All right, we've got the Silent Abyss, Raging Earth, Return of the Six Samurai, and the Alien Psychic. All right, that's pretty cool. Good start. We got a super rare. You should get zero to one ultra rares in these weird GX sets. It's very strange how they made ultra rares very difficult to pull, even harder than ultimate rares, which is just odd. Synthesis spell. We got electric virus. I have not opened much of this set, so this is pretty fun. Destruction Cyclone. We've got the Flashbang. Neo's Force is a regular rare. All right. Grin, Tactician of Dark World, Swift's Samurai Storm, Silent Abyss, and Raging Earth. All right. Next pack. We are on to pack number three, numero three. Let's see what we can do. The ultimate rare Air Neos is a very, very rare one. It's pretty low population in terms of PSA 10, and obviously just because of the fact that. Aranios is just, it's very rare because it can only be pulled in one specific set. This set was pretty good back in the day, so it's just a rare one overall. We have a Twister. Okay, just regular Twister. We got the Nasashi, Emblem of the Awakening, Come On, and a Grin Tactician of Dark World. All right, so after this box, I think we only need to open Light of Destruction, First Edition, Invasion of Chaos, and then I think there was, was there one more or was it this one? I feel like I'm missing one that we have not. No, we opened Flaming Eternal. Yeah, so I guess there's only two. Invasion of Chaos and Light of Destruction are the only first editions we have not opened from GX and the originals, which is pretty cool. Six Samurai Zanji. Ooh, and a Birthright. Very cool. So whenever we do open Striking Neos, we always seem to get Birthright, which is pretty funny. This is a pretty decent one. It's not incredible, but I think it works with uh, normal monsters. It's like a Monster Reborn. More like a Call of the Haunted for normal monsters. So overall, it's not a very good card because you could just play Call of the Haunted. But I guess if you you know want multiples of them, it's not terrible. It was okay in Duel Links for a while when Geminis were decent. And by decent, I mean like, like very loosely saying decent. But okay, Lycanthrope. Let's go. Electric Virus. Destruction Cyclone. Flashbang. Can we get that ultimate rare? Oh, a Dark World Dealings ultimate rare. Okay, this is actually a very good one. This is just a regular. It's normally a super rare, but uh, this is one of the best cards in the set in terms of value. That is really nice, and also it looks really awesome. Dark World Dealings. It seems like every time I see a box opening of this, it has this card, which is weird because it's actually a really good one. Yeah, that is that is awesome. I'm okay with that. That's a pretty good pull. If we could pull the Air Neos too. I'd take the Ultra Rare too. That would be awesome. So we've got our first Ultimate Rare already, the Dark World Dealings. That's going to be a pretty valuable one in near mint to mint condition. Maybe I'll grade it. That would be actually pretty cool. All right, we got the Firestorm Prominence. We got the Legendary Ebon Steed, Sheehan's Foot Soldier. The Marionette Might. That guy is, wow, that is a creepy card. That is very creepy. 
Ooh, the Shein. This would be an awesome ultimate rare as well. This is a cool one. Great Shogun Shein. That is a very awesome six samurai card. And it is Strike of Neos, which has a lot of six samurai stuff. Very cool. Yeah, that's where I've opened my stri Strike of Neos. It's from that samurai thing. If you guys remember the Samurai Special Edition? That's a really cool product. I, I would like to open more of that. Okay. So far, pretty good opening. We've pulled some pretty good cards. I'm pretty happy with it. Can we pull that Ultimate Rare or the even the Ultra Rare Air Neos? Zanji. So if you guys don't know, in the GX era, a lot of the boxes, they were split between hobby and retail. So you could only pull rares as ultis in retail and supers and ultras as ultis in hobby. So... Because Dark World Dealings is normally a super, it's in the hobby box and it, as an ultimate rare. Eliminating the League, very nice. Sage of Stillness, Sound Abyss, Castle of Mist, and Radiant Spirit. Continuing to the next pack. We're not even halfway through this. We've already pulled like three or four, four foils, I think. So we're, we're getting a lot of them early. We've got a cocky gorilla of Dark World. We're really hoping for a secret rare in here. Because they did add back secret rares in Strike of Neos. They did not have them for a while in GX. Firestorm Prominence. Ooh, the Neo Space and Grand Mole. This is a pretty cool ultimate in retail. So that's there's actually some pretty good ultimates in retail. DD Crow, the Grand Mole, and there's a few other ones that I'm not thinking of off the top of my head. Maybe we'll see them as we see the rares go through and we'll remember. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Electric Virus has been at the front of every pack. Destruction Cyclone. These are all in the same order. Flashbang. Lycanthrope. Okay. Not very big sets in these. Pulling the rug. Interesting. That's for like monarchs and stuff. That's not a bad card. Air Neos. Show up. Show up for us. I'm down. I'm down for it. I hope you guys are enjoying this old school opening because at this point GX is like as expensive as the original for a lot of them. Zanji. The uh, Gorilla of Dark World. Ancient Rules. Pretty cool card. Classic for the blue eyes and duel links. You gotta love it. 14 more packs. Just gotta believe. Let's go. We have a ritual ceiling. Yaichi. Firestorm Prominence. Legendary Ebon Steed. Frostosaurus. I've pulled this guy in Ultimate Rare uh, Unlimited, I think. That was a pretty cool looking card. One more pack on this side. Then we've got an entire other side to go through. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get a secret rare. I don't know what the ratios are. Secret rares are obviously secret. So you don't know exactly what the ratio is. Um, and even, I don't know a lot of people have opened this. So I, we can't really guesstimate. So I really am in the dark if, as to what our chances are for that. Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, that's not an ultimate rare you'd want out of retail, but it's a cool one. Grin is a very cool looking card. I like it. Halfway through the opening. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be doing epic box openings. We've always done epic box openings and more in the future. It's going to be pretty fun. Let's go. Lycanthrope. Advanced Ritual Art. Umbral Soul. Six Samurai Yuriza. Oh! Neo Parsh at the Sky Paladin. So we did get a secret rare. I don't think this is the one we're really looking for, but it's pretty cool. I mean, I always like these cards. I think they look really nice. A little bit of edge wear there at the top, but that is still pretty awesome. It's also nice that they brought back secret rares just for like the box value, because before in the GX sets, if you had like two bad ultimate rares, it's like your, your box was worthless, but now you can like at least get a secret rare. So we got a secret rare. You get two ultras or two ultis supposedly, and maybe an ultra. We will see. If that is the case, Umbral Soul, we got the Ureza, Reflector Ray, Sage of Silence, very cool. This one, when it's an Ultimate Rare, has a really cool, like, ring around it. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's very cool foiling. Ten more packs, let's do this. Air Neos, Ultimate or Ultra, we are down, especially Ultimate. We will go absolutely nuts if we get that. That is a huge pull. We've got the Marionette Might, Synthesis Spell, Electric Virus, Destruction Cyclone. Neospatian Air Hummingbird. Okay. I really like a lot of the supers in the set. It's pretty good. Swift Samurai Storm, Silent Abyss, and Return of the Six Samurai. Now that I'm thinking about it, are we going to get two ultimates or do you only get one? Ah, do you only get one? Because they because they switched in 5Ds. Well, I know in 5Ds it was like you usually only got one ultimate. You got a secret. You got like a couple ultras. We'll find out. I really am not sure. Because I have not opened a lot from this era because these boxes are super rare. Reflector Ray... And Hero Metal. I'm hoping we don't only really get one. That would be kind of a bummer. <laughs> All right, Strike. Do us a favor and get us two ultis. We've got an Electric Virus, Destruction Cyclone, Flashbang, Lycanthrope, 
Spiral Serpent. Yeah, because if you get a secret and an ulti instead of two ultis, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't help the value, really. It, it, like I was saying, oh, it's going to help the value. It doesn't if, if you don't only get one ulti. All right, let's be careful here. All right, we've got the Zanji. Man, this makes me want to play Six Samurais. Kaki, uh, Gorilla of Dark World. Ritual Ceiling. The Six Samurai Yaichi. And the Transmigration Prophecy. Cool. Anti-Fusion. Chuchulane, Sage, and Sheehan's Castle of Mist. Got about a quarter of the box left. Is there anything left? I'm hoping there is. We have not pulled an ultra. We have not only pulled one ulti. We will see if that's normal or not. I'm really not sure. We have a flashbang. We're going to find out. Like a throat. Advanced Ritual Art. Umbral Soul. Fusion Devourer. Okay. All right. Return of the Six Samurai. Six Samurai. Iru. Very cool one. And a cell. We got the aliens in here. Come on. Give us some luck, guys. Like button for luck. Put your comments in the chat about what we're going to pull in these last few packs. Flashbang. And by chat, I mean comments because there's no chat. This is not live virus. Destruction Cyclone. And Card Trader. We got the classic super rare. The Card Trader. It's the very Duel Links card. I mean, just this guy is in Duel Links. Literally, give, you can get cards from him. So it makes sense. That's that's a pretty funny one. All right, we've got a grin. I don't. I got to see how many actual foils. We pulled a lot of foils, it feels like. But still no Ultra, which is interesting. Come on, Aaron Neos. Come on, Aaron Neos. Do it. Do it. Show up. Even the Ultra would be cool. Really cool, actually. Legendary Ebon Steed. We've got the Sheehan's Foot Soldier. Marionette Might. Synthesis Spell. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, another ultimate. The Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird. Wow, that card looks good. You guys see this? This card looks absolutely awesome. Wow, that card looks super nice. All right, it's not the Air Neos, but that is a pretty card. I am down for that. That is, okay, that's a pretty good box so far. I guess we still have the chance at an Ultra. Please, if we get the Air Neos, this would be an absolutely amazing box. We have three more packs. So we are 21 packs in, three chances left to pull a crazy card. We've already pulled a couple of awesome Ultimate Rares. We pulled a Secret Rare. Now, let's see if we can pull an Ultra Rare Air Neos Electric Virus. Destruction Cyclone. Sage of Silence. Okay, it's going to say it's gonna make us wait. It's going to make us wait. That's fine. Two more packs. Two more Strike of Neos. And this is probably the last time I ever opened a booster box of this because these things are rare and expensive. Especially rare. Like, this is the first chance I've really had to buy one. All right, Cocky. Ritual Ceiling. The Six Samurai. Firestorm Prominence. <sighs> what is inside? The Spiral Serpent. Okay, Sage of Stillness and the Nasashi. All right, we've got one more chance. One final chance at the legendary cover card, Air Neos. Can we do it, guys? Send the luck. We need your luck. Here we go. Final pack. Legendary Ebon Seed. Or Steed. Sheehan's Foot Soldier. Marionette Might. Synthesis Spell. Here is the final chance. Here we go. Come on, Air Neos. The DD Crow. Okay, that's a pretty good rare. We'll take that. DD Crow and come on. Very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more epic content because we're going to be opening more epic Yu-Gi-Oh packs in the future. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Hawaiian Yu-Gi-Oh, Stanley, Mike, Nancy, and Mimic Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys later. Peace.